Hi everybody! As promised, I've been using my time away from YouTube, building ever more things to add to the Medieval Engineers game. I wanted to drop back in now and show off a set of items that I've been working on, Roman arms and armor. I uploaded the first version of this some months ago, but I've been expanding it big time lately, and it adds some new mechanics I wanted to highlight here. I started with things appropriate for an auxiliary cohort, like those on Hadrian's Wall in the 3rd century. Things like this helmet, with its characteristic cheek pieces and brow and neck guards. Helmets similar to this were used throughout the Roman era. Or this set of greaves, iron shin guards with a padded backing, another Roman classic. Next is this longsword, called a spatha. Unlike the shorter gladius of earlier years, which was great at stabbing, 3rd century Roman troops used these light, long, slashing blades. This shield is also very different from the early empire, a simple oval flat-fronted shield made of wooden planks held together with rawhide and sporting a sturdy central boss to smash into an attacker if need be. Rounding out the list, a fairly standard mail shirt and a melee spear. And at first, that was pretty much it. Then, a couple weeks ago, I got the big idea to make the mod a little more interesting. The developers have added a really powerful visual inventory system, so I thought, what if I create a guard mannequin who can wear the various weapons and pieces of armor? Just a fun little side piece. Add the item to the guard mannequin, and it shows up on him. And it worked! Then I realized that a mannequin is actually better when you can mix and match, creating just the look you want. So I went back and decided to create more items for display, or for the mannequin. I went back to the early empire, bringing in the more famous classic Roman items, the plate armor called Lorica Segmentata, the rectangular bow-fronted shield known as the Scutum, and the crested helmet worn by officers. And I still have much more coming. If you have the mod, customizing your own mannequin is easy. First, you create the mannequin just by using four dishes of food at a craft table. It's like giving rations to a guard. Then, when you place the mannequin, you can click on him and see that he, too, has a crafting inventory. If you want him to wear a piece of armor or weapon, first you craft it at the smithy, and then add it to your inventory. Then, you place it in the mannequin's crafting inventory. When you do that, you'll see that you can turn it into a mannequin-ready version with one click. Now, just grab that mannequin-ready version, find the right slot on the mannequin, and place it. If you want to mount or display it again, simply use the mannequin's crafting inventory to turn it back into a displayable item. I've also taken this a step further. I've started creating actual wearable items from the list. Having learned a bit about how the character's bones work, I discovered a couple that actually make decent attachment points. So you can now wear the helmet, or the plumed helmet, and you can wear the shield, or even the scutum. You can even also wield a working longsword. It behaves just like a regular vanilla sword, except its damage is slightly lower and its attack speed is a bit faster. Making these items is easy too. Again, just craft the displayable item at the smithy, then turn it into a wearable version from your own inventory. Once you have a wearable version, you just equip it like any weapon. As with the mannequin, if you want to make it a display object again, you can, with one click. Also, as a side note, the helmets and shields don't actually give any extra protection to your character right now. They're just for fun. I'm really excited about this mod, and the things I have planned for it going forward. I hope this short video has shown off some of what the mod offers, and I hope you all enjoy it. Thanks for watching!